Okay, we're going to weave in the ends now. Show us what to do. Okay, now when you added a new ball of yarn, you had these ends hanging out. That was from the episode where we added the ball of yarn. Yep, last episode. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take them to about six inches ish. And you're just going to cut it. Now, what I like to do is I like to take the higher strand and weave it down to the fabric, and the lower strand and weave it up to the fabric. I find that's a little bit more secure. You take a darning needle, also called a yarn needle, also called a big-eyed needle, and you just thread your yarn into it. Now, if you look at your knitting, you can see the direction in which the yarn is kind of moving, and you want to parallel that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up through this bump ridge here, and I'm going to look where does the yarn naturally want to go. Well, from here, it will go across, say, this line, up into here. So I'm going to pick up this bump ridge here. You don't want to go too deep into the fabric, and like I said last time, you want to have your edge, your ends at the edge when you're knitting flat because that makes weaving them in much easier. So now I'm going to pick up under this bump ridge here and I'm going to look and this sort of flows into this bump ridge. And when you're doing it with garter stitch really just going from bump to bump is the easiest thing to do. If you're doing it with stockinette stitch you're going to go ridge to ridge and if you're going in ribbing you're just going to pick either side and just go uh, V to V like you would for stocking that. So, I'm just going to go. And of course, this makes the ends and it makes a prettier looking scarf. Yeah, if you just trim your ends, what's going to happen is your scarf is going to unravel. So, you don't want to do that. You want to hide them. And of course, we want to definitely see these pictures of the scarves because we've got a tote bag coming up in uh, September 15th, right? Yes. Kind of cool. Okay. And once your end is pretty secure in, some people like to tie a little knot here, some don't. I prefer not to. What you do is you bunch this up just a little bit, not a lot. Take your scissors. Snip, and then you're going to loosen it. Now, what may happen is you may see a bit of the end pop up. If you do, snip it. If you don't, you're good to go. Your end is woven in.